Hi everyone, it's Hannah Ross. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are keeping it easy. It's gonna be a really short, quick, brief video. That's because I'm getting over another sickness. Like what is happening to my body? Anyways, I am feeling so much better and I really wanted to film a video for you all. So I decided to go for one of my most extreme minimalist collections I have. Just because I'm not feeling perfect yet, that way I don't have to talk about a billion items. There are only three items in this collection, and it is, drum roll please, we're heading into summertime, so it is my minimalist bathing suit collection. I have thought long and hard about these bathing suits, why I have them in my life, and what purpose they would serve. So the way that I organize the bathing suits that I have in my collection are by coverage levels. So I need something, for me, just for my life, I need something that is high coverage, I need something that is medium coverage, and I need something that is potentially on the lower coverage side. I didn't wanna to have too many bathing suits in my collection. I have been guilty of that before. I have had, geez, back in the day, I probably had like a dozen or two dozen bathing suits, but I really whittled it down and found out that they were all filling one of those three purposes, high coverage, medium coverage, or lower coverage. So I tried to cover all my bases with just three items and by George, I have done it. <laughs> You're gonna see too, with regards to color, these are all black. I feel the most comfortable in black, but this strategy can be used absolutely for colorful bathing suits. If anything, I think that bathing suits is a really great area to bring in color into your wardrobe. It's a really fun area to experiment with. I just am more comfortable with black, but this is definitely a category that I could see that changing down the road, so stay tuned as I go to replace some of these bathing suits. You never know, there might be a pop of color every once in a while. So when I was deciding what bathing suits I would actually need in my wardrobe and what styles and like lengths suited me best, I thought about every single scenario in which I would need to wear a bathing suit, whether that be a beach or a pool or a hot tub. I also thought about the activities that I could be doing. I could be doing like water sports or I could just be hanging out and chilling beachside. And then I also thought about the social situations that I would be in while I'm wearing a bathing suit. And I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, I am not someone who like would comfortably wear a bikini in some social situations. It just would make me a little bit uncomfortable. I prefer a bit more coverage, so I needed to ensure that I had things that were a little bit higher coverage, but alternatively, if I was in a more private, secluded setting, I would feel very comfortable wearing more of a bikini style bathing suit and it's really, really good for tanning. So I definitely wanted to make sure that I had that in my collection as well. So whether I am over at a friend's hot tub, um, at a rooftop pool, hanging out by the beach, we're in sunny Cancun by the way, so the beaches are beautiful here, or I'm just with my husband, or I'm with a large group of people, or I'm just with close friends, or if I'm doing jet skiing, or water sports, or it's more casual, I have everything that I need in just three bathing suits. So without further ado, let's get chatting about my first bathing suit and it is a full length one piece bathing suit. Here it is. It's a really, really gorgeous suit. And the fun details in the front just make the one piece a little bit more exciting. Um, I have a long story about this bathing suit. I have a very long torso and I'm also quite tall, I'm like 5'10". So to find a bathing suit that fit my torso was a literal nightmare. Like it, it took me like 23 years, maybe longer, maybe 25 years of my life to find this bathing suit. I had never been able to purchase a one piece, like tankini was the best that I could do. So this one piece I love because I feel so secure and confident, like nothing's gonna go flying anywhere. It is incredible, but like I said with that detail, 
it just adds a little bit of like visual interest. It's not just a plain, boring black bathing suit. And there's a really good amount of coverage on the backside, which is really important to me. I absolutely love this one piece bathing suit. It is by the brand Bleu, like French Blue, B L E U, and it is in a size eight. So this is it, this is my first bathing suit. I honestly wear this one so much. I would wear this in a hot tub. I would wear it if it's a little bit of a cooler day and I'm not interested in getting a tan. I would wear it in a larger social gathering. Um, there's just an endless amount of opportunities for this one piece and I adore having it in my collection. Sometimes I'm just not feeling a one piece. Like they are, so difficult to take on and off and can be a little bit of a hassle. So sometimes I'm just not interested in that, yet I still want a decent amount of coverage. And that is when I go to my second option, which is a high rise bathing suit from La Vie en Rose. So there it is. It uh, goes right up to my belly button and it has a really good amount of coverage in the back, which again, I always appreciate. And it has this very slight V shape um, at the front, which I find really flattering on my body type. And then the top itself has quite a lot of coverage and support. So I really, really appreciate that because again, I don't need to worry about anything. I can do all of my sports and activities. I can swim a long ways. As per most of my bathing suits, the top I needed to get in a large and the bottoms I needed to get in a medium. And again, I guess I'm getting even more honest with you all here today, but as someone with stomach issues, sometimes the one piece bathing suits actually a bit too compressing and can hurt my stomach. And sometimes I just don't want to be in a bikini if I'm having like some stomach swelling. So this is a really, really good option for days that I'm just not feeling the best. And I like having something high rise with a really good amount of coverage, but a little bit of flexibility and wiggle room if I need to. I can also fold these down if ever I want to at the beach or at the pool. And yeah, I just love having this, let's call it a medium coverage bathing suit in my collection. So first bathing suit, high amount of coverage, second bathing suit, medium coverage. I would say that this bathing suit is low coverage. Well, it's low coverage for me at least. This is my like stringier bikini. It is from Airy, like the American Eagle loungewear and swimwear line, Airy. And yeah, I do really, really enjoy it. And for a string bikini, it does have a decent amount of coverage, like the cup size is pretty large. And as you can see here with the bottoms, they have a pretty good amount of coverage on the back as well. Another thing worthy to note is it's a bikini that's attached in the middle. I really like that. Again, it just adds a hint of support that you don't need to worry about the triangles, you know, doing their own thing, going their own way. Um, you can rest assured that this is going to stay secure and intact, which is really, really nice. And that's what I typically look for in like a bikini. So, you know, nine times out of 10, I am going to be comfortable in this, but there is the odd situation where I just wouldn't feel comfortable in it or I wouldn't feel like it's appropriate. But oddly enough, over the last little while, I have gotten the most use out of this bathing suit. Previous to that, when I was back in Canada, I would say that the one piece bathing suit was the one I wore more often than not. But we've been in really hot destinations for the last little while and I've been tanning a little bit. So I've actually been pulling out this bathing suit fairly frequently. And it's kind of getting to the point now with like chlorine and you know the salt from the beach that I could stand to replace it in the next little while, but we'll see. It's still holding up okay, I guess. All right, my friends, short and sweet that was, but I do hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a little bit of inspiration, whether that be to fill in a gap that you didn't know was missing in your bathing suit collection or to declutter a way to just find those categories that you need. Maybe you're someone who never wears low coverage, then don't have a low coverage bathing suit. Maybe you're someone who would never wear a one piece, doesn't like high coverage and only likes low coverage. Well, then don't have the higher coverage bathing suit. This is all adaptable to 
to your needs and hopefully it just gets you thinking about what bathing suits you want to keep in your life for summer and or what bathing suits you might need to go and pick up. So thank you so, so much for spending even a small part of your day here with me on my channel. It truly means the world to me. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you do, feel free to give it a like. If you like me and if you like my content in general, please consider subscribing. All right, my friends, bye for now and I really hope to catch you in my next minimalism video. Bye!